people, and we tried to um, to then forecast. You know, depending on where we where we as everyone and ELT especially sees us going in the future, what it needs to look like and what those minimum needs would be to meet those levels. Um, and that's that's what we tried to do the best we could. But I think it, it's hard to capture the the numbers on that right now. We're still trying. Um, but it, that we ran into some logistical challenges with that, so we're working on it. Are there any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sheena Hess. I'm a nurse um, in the Community Living Center in Topeka, and um, I helped lead the project for enhancing care in the community, or SITSI. Um, we had really a stellar team with our executive sponsor, being Dr. Gina Graham. Um, we had really a lot of support from a lot of people in our facility, um, especially Marianne Paulson, Brian Stevens, and Tom Booz. And then we also had support from our CPAC and others within our visit, other facilities within our, in our visit. Um, our project goal was to look at care in the community and to deliver a program that's easy to understand, simple to administer, and meets the needs of veterans and their families, communities, providers, and staff. And as many of you know, that's sort of been a bit of a challenge over the years with a lot of things changing in the Choice um, program. Uh, we actually took a different project approach. We did what's called a RPIW, or a Rapid Process Improvement Workshop, that was where we really harnessed the power of focus, and we did um, a two-week version this time. And so um, all of the people on our team committed two weeks of their time, um, really being kind of sequestered in a room <coughs> and just trying to come up with solutions. We also use lean methodology. Uh, that's a way that we look at a process or a system and look at the value of that system, where there's waste, and where we can eliminate that and improve the efficiency of that system. Um, so some of our objectives, actually, we were trying to understand as choice program expands and we're providing more care in the community, how does that affect our facility and the care we provide at Eastern Kansas? And so um, we looked at uh, different things such as increasing coordination of care with TriWest and community providers, um, looking at our staffing and our workflows to make sure that our processes were efficient, where we having um, process-based systems versus person-based processes. Um, also looking at uh, do we have the, the right staffing as care in the community um, choice program expands, do we have enough staff to meet those needs? Um, we also looked at le how do we leverage technology to make the most efficient system and um, consult management. So those are probably the two areas that we're most seeing kind of the modernization piece come in. There's a lot of things being done nationally to improve that. I don't know if any of you have ever, ever had the experience of entering a consult for care, that being discontinued, and then having to enter another consult. <coughs> um, we're going to be rolling out what's called a one consult, and that'll essentially allow you to be able to forward between external, internal and external care. So if we can't meet the care needs here internally, you can just now forward the consult to external care versus having to discontinue it and enter a new consult. Um, the other thing that's coming is uh, what's called a community viewer, and I think we'll be piloting that soon with Stormont Vale. And that allows for Stormont Vale to actually be able to access veteran records. So if they need to know about lab work or uh, those sorts of things, they can just get into the records instead of right now, you know, I don't know if any of you have to stand by the fax machines or spend a lot of time faxing and trying to get documents to community providers. So that will really be a great service. Um, and then uh, one thing Marianne did want me to mention is that care in the community will, the name will be changing actually to community care. So, um, I think that's where we'll see kind of the most modernization is just rollouts to really leverage technology to, to be able to provide those services more efficiently. Yes. Is there, are there any questions about that? Yes. You mentioned that you're going to give Stormont Vale the ability to look at VA records. Is the opposite going to be true as well? Are VA employees going to be able to access some of the places that we most frequently send out to KU, Stormont Vale? Because having to request records from, say, KU, and then it's like three weeks later, so if that back and forth exchange have access to other facilities, EHRs, would also be very great. Right, and I, I believe there are going to be systems in place, and they're working on systems in place to, um, I, 
think one of the biggest challenges is getting medical documents back from facilities, especially when we've choiced out the care and then you don't know what's happened to your veteran. And so they're working on putting in systems to make that more efficient so that we can directly get and that. Some, we already have access to some of that. I think yeah. uh, some of our providers have access to storm on bail records of the patients there. So, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And so if you need it, make sure we get it. We can get your name there and be able to do it. But we are looking for ways to be able to continue to look at the other sites to do that. Okay. Yeah. You can look inside Vista Web or the Joint Legacy Viewer and see what's available in the veterans' charts. And anybody that we have already partnered with will be interested. I've seen stuff scanned in Vista Web. But in terms of being able to access, like, they use Epic. Right, and yes. They the, pull up all the, the entire chart. Yeah, over on the left hand side, there'll be a drop down. Uh, so, right now, you can click on the DOD and that accesses their records. Okay. Um, and so, any any of the agencies we have partnerships with, uh, it'll be over, over there next to the DOD. Mm -hmm. So, it's not just scanned in documents that we've received, it's actually accessing a part of their records. Any other questions? Thank you.